Usually starts with a phone call from school. Uh, your kid's in trouble for bullying. Well, 99% of parents will say, no way, not my kid. Well, this morning, Rich Bracken is here to talk about the signs we need to look out for. So what should we be watching for? Well, there's, there's a lot of things we look for, and, and you hit the nail on the head that parents aren't going to want to admit that their kid's the right. one that's doing the bullying. And it's sad that 62% of parents are terrified that their kid is going to be bullied. So a vast majority feel that their kid is not in danger when it's right. actually, or they are in danger, when it's actually the kids that they need to be you know, looking out for. The biggest thing that parents can do is communicate. Okay. Um, you know, I remember being a kid and, and my parents were always around and they were always mm -hmm. involved in what I was doing, not as a hoverer, but as making sure that they were just in touch. And you get the eye roll, because every time oh, yes. I ask a lot of questions <laughs> at home, and it's always like, Mom, you know, they're so annoyed, but... We have to stay on top of things. And kids need those boundaries. They need to understand that they have consequences to their actions as well. So making sure that you're just communicating with your kids. Ask them how their day is. Mm -hmm. Ask them what they're involved in. Be involved in their actual day-to-day -day activities and just ask them questions. Um, so many times we get so distracted by social media, digital technology, and we forget to put those down and give our kids attention because mm -hmm. those kids that act out are the ones that are craving the most attention, they're the most insecure, and they're fighting for identity at that point. Okay, speaking of technology, what about cyberbullying? Cyberbullying. Look out for that. It is, it, is the, it is the number one problem right now mm -hmm. because, one, it is so easy to do for kids. Um, it is so easy for kids to, to get online, to say things, to basically embarrass other kids in yeah, front of the entire world. they never say to their face. Exactly, exactly. And that's the problem is it's the, it's the, it's the technology bravery, really, mm -hmm. um, or lack of when you think about mm -hmm. it. But it's basically they feel that they are, they are hidden behind a screen, they're hidden behind a keyboard or a phone, and they can say whatever they want. But there's consequences. A lot mm -hmm. of states have now enacted laws that prohibit or, or penalize kids for actually cyber bullying. So making sure that you're involved in your kids' social media activities. Mm -hmm. um, ask them about their accounts. Ask them about who they interact with. And don't be afraid to actually at, you know, get access. Yeah. They're still your kids. <laughs> Police and, them. Exactly. <laughs> you still have the right to look at their accounts and look at their feeds. And be on the lookout for multiple accounts. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that kids are smarter with technology because that's all they've known. Yeah, there's so, Instagram and then yes. there's their Finstagram accounts, which are like their funny little, right. you know, whatever. All right. So how do we punish what advice do you have for parents in that realm? So truly I feel like punishing is, is, is the secondary route. I feel like communication is the number one route. You need to first admit as a parent that it could be your kid. That's, mm -hmm. that's the biggest hurdle here because you can't engage in that conversation unless you say, you know what, my kid may have a problem. Right. My kid may be the bully. I need to address this as opposed to just dismissing it as right. somebody's There's picking no on my way. kid. Not my kid. Little my kid's Johnny. an angel. Right. No, not, not little Joshua. He's, he's an mm -hmm. angel. No, he's a bully. And so you need to address that. But communicate with them. Sit down and ask them what it would take to have them stop mm -hmm. the bullying behavior and address it. Again, kids need attention. They need love. They need reassurance from their parents. No matter if you're, it's a dual household or a single household, give them that time. Find time in the day to sit down and ask them about their day and ask them about who they are and what they're interested in because they need that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, to get more from Rich, you can check out all his podcasts on iTunes. He's also on social media. You can check out richbracken.com for those links.